Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This patient has presented for routine dental treatment. She has no chief complaint relative to her joints or to her occlusion. However, on examination, it has been found that she has considerable wear of the teeth and that to do restorative treatment for this patient without considering the occlusion and her bruxism would probably result in failure for any partial type of treatment. On examination of the patient, we find that on centric relation closure, relax please, let your jaw go back. When you first touch, stop, squeeze, open again please, just relax. Open a bit, squeeze. You can see that there is a considerable anterior slide and there is a considerable vertical component. As we look at the teeth individually, we see that the facets of wear are much outside of the normal place that you'd expect to find with that associated with mastication. Close your teeth together, please. Back teeth together. Now I'm looking at her teeth from a lateral view. it would appear as if she has a loss of vertical dimension. And it is true that there's been a loss of considerable amount of tooth structure here, but the concept of a loss of vertical, close please, close, is very difficult to determine simply on the basis of the wear on the teeth. Slide your teeth out towards me, please. Out further, please, out this way, more. Close your teeth together out there, yes. Slide back, slide out the other way. Back, slide straight forward. Not quite so far, please. Back a bit, slide over this way. Close. Now I'm going to have you chew on some of this wax so we can get kind of an idea <clears throat> how you chew. What kind of foods do you eat? Anything is abrasive in nature? I eat almost anything. Yeah. Almost anything? Mm. Just chew normally. Obviously, she is not going out to the extremes of the wear that you see on the teeth. Do you grind your teeth that you know of? I think so. You think so? Mm -hmm. Do you do this during the night or during the day? Yes. Or 
tonight. Uh -huh. Sometime. Somebody tell you that? No, I did find it out myself. Mm -hmm. And by in the dental school, they told me too. Uh huh. With this much wear on the teeth, as you can see, on this lower first molar, for example, and to have this throughout the mouth, indefinite patterns of movement, it's quite difficult to replace these restorations, either individually or totally, so that you would be back in the same patterns of wear that she has normally. That is abnormally in terms of bruxism, but normally in terms of the type of movement she's making. Now the treatment for the patient initially is to make her a biplane splint to try to correct the bruxism and to eliminate the slide and centric and balancing interferences that she has. Now, if these are not completely eliminated, then any type of restorative treatment you're going to do is going to end up with further bruxism and more uneven wear and great difficulty in controlling this problem of wear on the teeth and the restorations. Now, with this type of patient, we have put what some people call shoes. Uh, what it amounts to is pin ledge inlays throughout the mouth. Now, once you put all of these in, unless you have the patient coming from centric relation to centric occlusion without interference, then you really have perpetuated the problem all over again and there will be considerable uneven wear. Bruxism will continue, and quite often the margins will open up on this type of a restoration. So it is very necessary that the patient's bruxism be controlled before any type of restorative treatment is done. And certainly this treatment should be done totally rather than piecemeal, because to put a little piece of gold here and the restoration there of gold only means that there's going to be considerable unevenness of wear here. And what you want to do is start off with all of the restorations at the same time as much as possible and to control initially the bruxism. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.